What's up YouTube? Jeff back again and today we have another very exciting Samsung video for you guys today. We're going to be talking about widgets. And if you don't use widgets, you don't know what widgets are if you're new to Android or if you never used them when you were on iOS, widgets are incredibly useful and they can also make your phone look a lot more beautiful. Uh, you guys can see the one I have here on my home screen with the time, the day, the date, the temperature, and kind of the weather conditions as well as the low and high temperature on the bottom, which I absolutely love. I utilize widgets a lot, depending on the wallpaper I'm using, I change up my widgets quite a bit. Also just part of the YouTube game, but there are some that I use consistently. I'm gonna show you guys how to get these specific widgets and this look today. People are always asking about the different ones I have. Now, of course, you can get stock widgets, right? Samsung has some widgets that they create and also widgets that come with specific apps that you can easily just add to your home screen. So for instance, like this one is a new widget that Samsung created for One UI 5.1. You just long press on the home screen, you go into widgets, and then you find it. So this is the battery widget with the four circles. It'll give you information about your phone's battery as well as your S Pen, uh, your tablet, if you use a Samsung tablet, your smartwatch, like if you use a Galaxy Watch 5, Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. It'll give you information about all that cool stuff right there. So you can get a lot of widgets that are stock built in. Samsung has a lot of them. Other apps like Facebook, Twitter, your social media. There's a stock weather app that Samsung gives you. But if you want something that looks, you know, really customized to your own liking with your own fonts and things like that, you're gonna have to go for something a little more customized like this. And the way you do that is by using a widget customizing app like KWGT. So the app that I use to get all of these widgets is called KWGT. KWGT is a theming engine for building widgets that allows you to create customized widgets and then change all the properties, the fonts, the font style, the font size, the font color, um, everything that you can imagine, transparency, you can mess with everything. So this is a paid app. I mean, this is the actual widget maker, KWGT custom widget maker. And I will drop the link below, of course, if you guys want to grab these, but you do need this paid version up here which is the KWGT Custom Widget Pro Key. Uh, I've had this app for so long that I can't even remember. Um, I can't even remember when I bought it. It was like between two and four bucks. So you should probably expect to pay somewhere in that general range, I would guess. But uh, it's been a long time since I purchased this. So I'm not exactly sure exactly what it costs now, but it's not a lot compared to what you get. Now, once you install KWGT, you have a couple of options. Right here, you'll see it. The Pro Key doesn't do anything. It's just to unlock the Pro features. But right here is KWGT. Um, you'll see on the home screen, actually, let me go back to the home screen. This is the home screen when you actually open the app. You'll see the current app um, widget that you're editing up here at the top. You can go in here, tap on that. It'll allow you to start editing that. And then you can go back out here and explore some more things, of course. As you go back home, you'll see that I have KWGT Pro there. You can go to Load Preset which will then allow you to choose from your currently installed packs. Now, I have quite a few installed packs that come from my Icon packs, which is Ares and Hera and Lena. Those all come from One4 Studio, who's one of my favorite Icon pack developers. I actually made a full video about his Icon packs as well, if you want to check them out. But the current one I'm using is from Ares. It comes pre-installed uh, with that Icon pack if you purchase the Icon pack. So you get some widgets included as well. He also has a really awesome full-featured pack that has 90 something widgets, I forgot, we have to scroll through and find it, called 1.4 KWGT Reloaded, it's right here. Some of my favorite widgets from KWGT come from this pack. A lot Last year I used these on the S22 Ultra, people were asking about them all the time. Absolutely beautiful, anything you could want. Um, weather, date, time, battery percentage, uh, media player, uh, just about everything you could want in any given size. He's even got some icons um, on the widgets that look like iOS icons, if you really like that. Not my thing, but certainly something that you could do. So if you want to go that route, you can download a premium pack like 1.4 KWGT from the Play Store. So once you install the KWGT application, this is not required. You can create your own from scratch, but you can download 1.4 KWGT and you can download a predetermined pack. So like this one, I own, this one reloaded, I think it's like $2.50. It has those 96 widgets in it that I just showed you. And there's a lot of value there in my personal opinion. And he does update these relatively regularly, not quite as regularly as the icon packs because they just don't require it, but he does add new widgets on a pretty regular basis. Now, like I said, you don't have to do that. You can actually go in here and create your own widget at the top. 
It just takes quite a lot more time to do that. So if you want to create your own widget from scratch, you can expect to spend a little more time investment uh, versus buying a pre-made pack. And once you make the, you know, buy that pre-made pack, you can go in here and edit all the properties. So like you can edit the items, the background, the layers, the different global variables. You can change all that stuff. Um, you can change the, the colors basically that you see there, the white color, the font style, the shortcuts, like if this is going to open a particular app, like with Media Player, uh, it would open like your Spotify or YouTube Music, your Apple Music, whatever you would be interested in doing. Uh, all of that can be done from within this menu. So it's pretty simple if you want to go through and edit these widgets. And then this also shows the touch control. What happens when you touch it? You can change it from light mode to dark mode. Um, that's a really cool feature as well. So there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can edit in here. And like I said, you don't have to have presets but there are a lot of icon packs that come with presets and I'll drop links to all the icon packs and the KWGT packs that I have installed, the one for KWGT pack. But there's also other ones up here under discover where you can find other packs and there's a ton of them on the play store. So if you really want to buy some, there are some that are really, really involved that give you really complicated stuff. And there's some really simple ones and some of the really simple ones are actually free. So you don't necessarily have to pay for one of these widget packs if you don't want. I personally love paying for paid packs because I think they usually just look better because the designers put a lot more time into them. And I also sometimes like to use the widgets that match my icons, like this widget is from Aries, and these are the Aries black icons. They just tend to look really good together because they were designed to work together by that particular artist designer, in this case, one for Studio. So um, that's how you can get a full set of custom widgets. Like I said, all those things that I showed you, you can edit piece by piece. You can also install multiple widgets, of course. You can have them on you know, every page if you want. You can install as many custom widgets as you want. Just long press on here, go to widgets, scroll down, find custom widget, which is right there. And then just choose the size of the custom widget you want, add it to your home screen, and then it's gonna let you pick. So for instance, if I wanna add one of these over here, it'll let me tap on this, and then it'll take me right into KWGT, and then I can select a new widget, save that widget, and then it's going to place the widget right there. So once you save it, and then it's going to place it right there. You can choose any widget that you want to add. Save it. Once it's saved, it goes right there in place, and then you're good to go. Obviously, I don't need two time widgets, but just showing you guys how you can apply these um, once you've actually installed the application and you know how to edit, it's very easy to go ahead and apply them just like you would any other widget that you're applying from the home screen. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification icon for future videos like this. You guys can also find the latest Samsung devices for purchase in the description. I also have the opportunity to help me review apps and get paid for it. So if you guys are interested in that, check out my website. I got a couple openings for that right now. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.